Ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls, children of all appropriate supervised ages outside of the dilapidated Castle Grayskull in front of the Alligator Garfield Snake Mountain in the Hobo Jungle, I bring to you another Reno McGallis review. Do you know what an Alligator Gar is? If not, look it up. They're terrifying. And apparently delicious. I didn't know you could eat them. My grandpa said you couldn't. Speaking of things you can't eat, well, you probably could, but, you know, you'd have to be awfully damn hungry. It is Mary Sue himself. The original Mary Sue, that is Tommy as a foot soldier, which I'm definitely not using that Tommy head, because fuck that guy. He was just like every bully I was in high school, or not in high school, in, in grade school with. A long fucking mullet, thought he was the badass. You know, not dependable. I mean, let's be honest, he always shows up at the very end of things. Totally. If you're mad about freaking Ray Skywalker, or Ray Palpatine, or Ray Hunky Funky Dunky, you should be more mad about him. All right. So anyway, here is the beautiful Raphael and uh, Larry Sue himself. There's the back of your box. <clears throat> so uh, I had to order this off of my Big Bad Toy Store order, which is the first time I've ever, you know, bitched about them. I haven't had anything shipped from them to me for a very long time. I don't know what's going on up there. But this thing, I was able to get next day delivery on it. Well, two day delivery on it. It's pretty much next day. I mean, I was it was late at night. I consider it next day, but whatever. Anyway, I got it from GameStop for the same price. So there you go. So look at that. Oh, oh, you, I didn't know if you, the others, you can see that. I don't remember seeing it. I don't think you can. But look at his red eyes you can see in there. Oh, that's bad as fuck, man. That is awesome. All right, and then there's Tommy being whatever. Douche pickle. All right, so anyway, he has things... Foot Soldier does, so you can make it where his mask is down. And, oh my gosh, it's Tommy. It's Tommy. Freaking douchebag. All right, here we go. So he also comes with uh, the uh, sonic hemorrhoid power there. Um, some kind of, uh, what is that? Is this, looks like some taffy. Uh, you put it on the end of your sword there for uh, taffy effects. Um, he has gripping hands, and then it looks like he has fists, so there's just one of the fists. Um, wasn't good enough for Kimberly, apparently. And uh, anyway, here we go. He also has his katana. Katana! There we go. Look at that. Isn't it beautiful? And we'll go ahead and pop him out. Okay. So, uh, looks like this is going to be your standard lightning collection Mumbo Jumbo, that, a lot, of, a lot of articulation in that bad boy, no waist, of course, they stopped doing waist joints and went for this, I guess, um, detail is pretty cool, I dig that, I like how they hid the, the that behind the, uh, shredding plates there, so there's that, go ahead and stick this in his grubby, undeserving hands, that's right, you heard me, I fucking said it. I'm just being really salty today. You know, I can't get this in his hand. You can know you know what it looks like, right? There you go. All right, so that's him. Who gives a shit? Here's, here's what we were really here for, right? So here's Raphael's head, which, as you know, with the other videos, I'm keeping their Power Ranger helmets on them unless they're, you know... <clears throat> unless the other than the April. The April has her normal head to differentiate. I know she doesn't have a skirt, but it's whatever. Anyway, there is the... Uh, Magical, ooh, that vomited. Um, lightning bolts, that's three flux. Anyway, um, there is the cool looking friggin' size. That's awesome. I love that. That's that's something pretty right there. I love that design. And then he has his uh, open hands and punching hands. We won't get those because we don't need them. And hopefully, I have better luck getting these things in. It looks like I will, because the nunchucks, I just, I never even bothered again after that. I figured out how they probably went in, but I was like, ah, the kids are playing with these. The nunchucks fall, probably fall out too easy. That ain't going up there, you know? So anyway, as before, there is his articulation. It's pretty much the same as all the other turtles. Uh, no waste, nothing like that, but, you know, you don't need too much articulation for something that's badass. It just walks up to whatever and is like, BAM! Bitch! So, anyway, yes. So, if you like Ninja Turtles, uh, like I said, that's available right now on GameStop, and uh, I was able to get it the next day. And you could, too.
So, uh, speaking of other things from GameStop, I, this is not from GameStop, but it's a video game that I have other wonderful 1999 memories from, Spiral the Dragon. Uh, my grandpa died right before uh, Christmas in 1999, and I got, I rented this game, you know, just because the snow was bad, and I knew it was going to be a bad long weekend with people showing up for a funeral, and I wasn't going to be going to school. So I got this and played it all the way through, all the way through the funeral, so... I mean, you know, up until the end of the funeral stuff. So, oh, yeah, I should probably read the back to you. Okay, anyway. Um, the adventurous young dragon Spyro has returned. Based on the classic video games, Spyro is ready to travel the homeworlds and save the day in action figure form with plenty of articulation for great poses. You can relive all your favorite Spyro moments. Um, Skylanders. So, uh, you guys ever do that? My son was big into Skylanders. And I don't know if you figured this out, but when my kids are into something, I treat it as go big or go home, right? That's just how I am. So he had a ton, a ton, a ton of Skylanders. We still have them. They're probably not worth a damn thing. I don't know. I don't want to find out. But yeah, anyway, Spyro was the main guy in that to try and get uh, nostalgia players, I believe. So anyway... So these are available at Walmart right now for like $39.99, at least at mine. I was able to score him for $20. Um, the package wasn't in the best condition, as you saw, but $20 in free shipping. Can't beat that. So it uh, looks like he's got a little articulation back here in the back, just on those feet. Feet up here as well. Um, yeah, looks like he's got sections here of tail that are all articulated. See that? See there? And has that section there, like a waist almost. And then his head moves, kind of can move as, you know, you don't have a whole lot of motion with that, but you don't really need it. Uh, wings, these are kind of tight. Um, I don't want to pull on them too much. There we go. Okay, yeah, there's the, the joint there, if you can see it, the ball joint. Just got to push it down just right to get it to do it. But yeah, I would worry about doing too much with it. So anyway, that's Spyro. And uh, if you can catch him cheap, I would get him. He's a nice-looking figure from NECA. And, uh, you know, I don't think he's worth the $39, but 20, 20 is definitely a good price, especially with how figures are nowadays. Um, and then we also got this from Walmart, Ghostface. Uh, we watch a, uh, a uh, Facebook guy, which I don't have Facebook, but uh, we watch his thing on Facebook now. Uh, he's, his name's Ghosty, and he streams Dead by Daylight mainly. And he's just a lot of fun to watch. Anyway, so we bought this so the wife could say, hey, I've got a little ghosty, got a little doll of my streamer crush. I mean, you know, it's a, she's got a crush on him. I don't care what she says. She does. Anyway, so as you, as you know, these are all kind of animated, looking like they would fit in the world of Scooby-Doo, which is cool. There's your knife with a nice shiny reflection on it. these things so much and this will end up going up on our horror shelf upstairs again horror not horror as i was uh i don't know what do you think you want to can it go both ways okay i know i can not really sorry that's a lie um can I have them holding it like this which i could stick it in there deeper <laughs> i just wanted to put the tip in for the video if you want to see more hot content, go to my OnlyFans. Or you can have him like, Meh! So anyway. Um, so yeah. And he was, uh, what the hell was, yeah, whatever he was, he was priced all right. So, I mean, if you just want a little thing, and you can use the back, there's a backdrop on the back of here, but I mean, who really gives a shit? I've got, going to have him posing with all of our horror stuff. Our horror stuff on our horror shelf. <laughs> Speaking of horrors, let's see which one of these dirty horrors can break down the door to Castle Grayskull and then zoom. The title of Greatest Action Figure Ever. Yeah, that's right. You're looking up a skirt. What the hell are you going to do about it? This is a fucking adult video and not intended for children, even though I say at the beginning, children of all appropriate ages. Whatever. It's not meant for kids. Speaking of not meant for kids, murder. Here we go. Oh, no dice. Sorry, ghosty, whichever one you were. Who is your favorite ghost face? Um, mine was Shaggy. Matthew Lillard. I can't remember his name at the moment. Parents are going to be so mad at me. All right. He's probably so mad I can't remember the name of the character. All right. Oh, I fucking missed. Oh, okay. There we go. So Tommy, 
I'm sorry about your freaking stupid dreams of getting into Castle Grayskull and being the greatest figure are dashed. You suck. I hate you. All right. Um, I'm just saying, dude, it, it, it took it out of me. I was a big Red Rick Jason fan, and Tommy came along, and all of a sudden, you know, he was the focus of the show, and I was like, fuck that. It's like Cyclops being the focus of the X-Men. That's stupid. All right. Oh, and no dice from my guy, Raph. So anyway, thanks for watching. I hope you're being good to yourself, because you freaking deserve it, you beautiful animal. And remember, free the figs. Peace.